Hey guys, welcome back to Twisted Throttle Moto. Today, we're gonna to put an SW Motec tank bag on. I'm gonna show you how to put the ring on and how to install the bag. So stay tuned, here we go. <laughs> Okay, the first part of this is the pro tank ring and this is the ring that's going to go here and it stays on and allows the um, bag to go on and off easily. Um, SW Motec is a Czech company. Now they have, uh, they have an office in um, Portland, Oregon and also one in Spain, I believe. Um, they've been in business about 20 years and they've got some experience. I chose this over the GD because I like the bag better. So. First thing we gotta do is we gotta open this up and put this put this ring on here. And there's two piece ring, and we're gonna go through the steps, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here's the uh, this comes packaged up nice and tight in here. So um, you are gonna need some Loctite. It does not come with Loctite. You need some medium Loctite or blue. So I got the blue. And there are a couple different rings. There's a top ring. This is the top ring and this is the bottom ring. So the first thing we're going to do is put the bottom ring on. Now, what we're going to use is, let's see, I've got a number, a number four, um, a number four, damn, Allen wrench. And it's the, the top four that we need to take off. So if you look here, there's one, two, three, four. And it's the top four you're going to put on. And it's actually magnetic, so when I set it down, it, it's grab and hold kind of already. But be careful. So, actually, that's the wrong ring. This is the ring. You want this ring. This is the bottom ring. It has the um, screws popping up from it. That's the one that's going to go. Is it the bottom ring? Oh, I have screwed up. No, I haven't. I did it right. So, okay. I said the top four. It's the bottom four that we're taking off. Right there. The bottom four. So we're going to take. That was not even tight. One. Factory loose. You got to love it. Now, this one over here was long. So remember that. This one over here is long. The bottom two are short. So these two are long and these two are short. So we need to keep that in mind. Now, first thing you want to do is get the bag of bolts. And the bag of bolts are magnetically stuck to the top ring. So inside this bag of bolts, there are several screws and several spacers. There's a big black spacer and there are little space, or gray spacers. So we want to take the gray spacers, see the gray spacer? And then there's black spacers too, there's gray and black. You want to take the gray, put the gray spacers in here. spacers in. There we go. Nice and easy like that. Then you want to take the ring. And it does, the ring, this kit does come with some, um, it does come with some little pads that you can stick on the bottom of this in case it does touch your paint on the street triple. I don't believe it does touch the paint. No, it does not. It doesn't feel like it touches the paint. Although, maybe that's not a bad idea, because it does touch up here, maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, what we can do, is just to be sure, like, it doesn't wind up scratching the paint, because if you're insane like me, peel this off. Put one up here. there and maybe 
two on the inside. skip the holes there. I'm going to trim these up, obviously. And just like that. What I'm going to do is go get a, uh, I'm going to press down nice and tight. I'm going to go get a, uh, a knife. Now, using a razor knife, I'm just going to trim Nice and, nice and gentle so I don't scratch the paint on the ring. I'm just going to trim. Gonna trim the uh, excess where I don't want it to be. There ain't nothing worse than taking taking this off someday and finding out that it scratched the crap out of your uh, tank or whatever something. A couple minutes of uh, a few minutes of just prep goes a long way. Okay, so you can see the pieces I put on there. Put one here, one there. One there, one there, and one there. When you flip it over, you can't see it. I'm gonna stick this on top of the ring. We can go back in here to our bolts. <clears throat> and if you're looking at these bolts, there's some longer ones I give you, and the ones you have are like a cap screw kind of thing. And this one is tapered, and it's a little bit longer. The threads are a little bit longer. Uh, there's several several sizes in here, but what we're looking at, what we need to look at, take this, when we take this out, we got our threads here, plus this piece, what size is going to fit, and I'm not really sure. Totally sure. So I'm going to start with the big one because I don't know. So we're going to take um, okay. Put this on here like that. The big one in there. The big one. This is a different size, so I gotta grab a different size um, Allen wrench than the previous one. Okay, so coming off it was a three millimeter and going on it's a um, I mean coming off it was a four millimeter and going on it was a three millimeter, so let's do it. I'm gonna screw this down to make sure this works okay. It does work, so now we're gonna put a little Loctite. Just a little blue Loctite on here. Uh, I need to come out. Just a little bit on there. Try to keep it off the paint. Same thing there. And I mean, they didn't have, you know, the, the stock bolts were pretty loose, so I guess anything is better than what the hell I had. Screw these down. Just slightly, slightly snug. Until I get the other ones in. 
And then we're going to take the medium sized bolts, two medium sized bolts that we had that were smaller, a little smaller. You can see different sizes. And we're going to put some Loctite on these. Looks like I'm running out of Loctite a little bit. Oh crikey, I just grabbed the wrong bolts guys. Why didn't you stop? So I didn't realize that some of these have a round head and some of them have a taper head and we need the taper head. I had not noticed that. Okay, so upon looking at the actual directions like I'm supposed to, I found that um, I had it right. These are the right bolts. They are the right ones because apparently these ones are slightly, ex they're exposed. So my mistake, sorry, it's a learning process. So put those round the top bolts in here. Put those in after all. And then we're gonna, we're gonna drop that on our paint. And then after that, we're gonna we pick it back up and we're gonna tighten them down just snug. You don't gotta go all crazy on it. Snug. So the next thing is our ring. So now we're going to take our ring and you'll see that there are there are four screws in there. We're going to take that ring and we're going to set it right on top of those four screws. Just like that. Nice and nice and good. Good and good. And then on top of that there are These black, there's these little black, can you see those? The little black ones. And, and the reason you, you know that the little black ones go on top is because, interestingly enough, if you look really close, let me see if I can get this in there. Can you see that there's an Allen in the top of that? So it takes an Allen wrench in the top of that. Whereas the bottom is just threaded. Flip it around. So these are going to go right on the top inside there. These are actually the nuts right there. And then come back, come back to our four millimeter um, that pulled that off. And and I wonder if we should put some Loctite in there. I'm not sure. I'm going to say yes it does call for some Loctite so we're just carefully going to I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this ring off ever so slightly ever so slightly and I place all the, the little nut things inside there I'm just gonna put a little Loctite. On these. I miss Loctite. Give me problems there. Time I set the bottle down, it rolls to the back of the. Okay, just 
so we'll put some Loctite there. Grab a little rag. We're gonna set these on top. Set those on top. Grab our four millimeter Allen. We're gonna just snug them down a little bit. Cross pattern, snug them. Gently snug them. And then we'll start back at the beginning and I'm just going to tighten that down. Tighten it down. You can't really over tighten it because it bottoms out and if you saw that it was just popping popping the um allen wrench off so there we go that's the tank that is the tank ring tank ring so she's all done i'm going to bring in for a closer look so that is the tank ring right there sw motec looks really nice and clean from the sides can't see anything and I'm glad I put that little tape stuff under there because it would have probably touched the bike paint and we don't want to do that um, and this is I actually like this tank ring thing because I have uh, I drive a lot for work so I go through a tank of gas in about a day and a half two three trips back and forth like one trip for to work one trip back from work and then a trip there and I have to get gas again. So what I normally do is I fill the bike up at home so I don't have to stop at the stupid gas station all the time. Well, if you look right here, I got some get gas getting on there. It actually messed the paint up a little bit so you can kind of see the paint right there is just a little bit. So you can't really see it as much anymore, but um, be careful. But all in all, I think this looks good from a distance. I don't think it really looks bad. You can open this up just like that get your it doesn't it doesn't interfere with your key I'm um, going in it doesn't interfere with your with your fueling so works good shut that down and that's it so now it's time for the bag the only problem with that is I don't have the bag yet guys so I'm waiting on the bag to get here it'll be here today's Tuesday it'll be here Thursday so on Thursday we're gonna finish this up and you'll never have known if I don't tell you that this was a two-part um, recording process but anyway the bags coming I got the um, smaller of all the bags because this is a naked bike and I really didn't want um, I really didn't want to um, have this giant thing on here um, this giant bag on here because it's a naked bike but they do sell uh, back rags or panniers is that how you guys say it in Brit Britain but anyway they do have a, a system for the back and that's kind of how they started with the back bag system that's how they became a company, I believe, was uh, setting up uh, tank bags like for back there. Actually, metal tank bags. But the, ba the bag I got is the smaller of them. And uh, when it gets here, we'll show you. Stay tuned. It's coming up. Okay, guys. Well, it's Thursday, and the bag came in. And this is the SW Motec Pro Micro. It's in this bag. It comes in a nice little bag. I don't know what this bag's good for, but you could use it for whatever. Um, so... This is a little micro bag, and the reason I got the micro bag is because it is a naked triple, and I don't really want this, all this crap on there. I really, I've got the Nelson Rig uh, tail bag on here, and I, I only really use it when I have to. Um, right now, it's got rain gear in there, it just is what it is. But normally, I'd rather keep it as naked as possible. Um, what I like about this bag is it's small, it unzips, and it has a little rain protector on it, um, so you can stuff this in there. And here is the, the kit to attach to the bottom of this thing. I'm going to show you guys how we do that. And here's some, some little desiccant pouches that aren't any good um, for anything now that I'm getting rid of the bag. So you do lose a little bit of space because if you can look in here, um, it like raises up because underneath it's raised. See how it's raised? So you lose a little space. This isn't the biggest thing in the world. This isn't meant, they have bigger ones, but the micro is meant to hold some sunglasses, maybe um it's got these little straps in there look at that little straps there's one there one there and on the other side so it's meant to hold like some sunglasses maybe your wallet here's a nice thing like you know you got to get gas and um if you're like me and you uh you try to ride to stay alive 
and you, you've got your um, protective gear on there. My wallet, the, earlier I was coming home from work, I had to take my outer pants off, kind of, or open them up and get my wallet out. Where here, I can keep the wallet inside so I can just get it. Maybe put your phone in there, or whatever. Or, a nice little place for a gun. How about that? Put your gun in there, pow pow. Pew pew, if you have to, right? So, you can keep whatever in there. It's nice and safe. It's it, it, it comes off and comes with you. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to install that. But just looking at it right there, you can see that it's not it's not too intrusive. It's pretty small. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this little bag to the side for a moment. And we're gonna open up these instructions and we're gonna figure out, here we go. Okay, so there's a bottom, this bottom piece is, looks like it's gonna be pretty straightforward. You got four bolt holes right there and you got this little ring right here. And I'm thinking this ring is the, um, detachable uh, pull cord you got some you got some little screws and a little allen wrench in there and there's even even some um instructions so i'm going to move you guys over here closer and we're going to work on we're going to figure this out together we'll figure it out together Whoa. all right um sorry i was seeing a little dr hook there changing the words a little bit okay so the first thing is we've got the ring on there we're going to go backwards here and we're going to take the um, all right we're going to take this pull cord so this pull cord is inside and i think the whole point of this is it has a detachable thing right inside and that's so like when you take the bag and you're on the go you can um, pull pull that off okay and then let me see this bag is like that so what this says to do okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take we're gonna take the male side of this off the strap. So it's off the strap. We're gonna turn this thing around right here and we're gonna come with, there's two sides. There's two sides. One is one is um, single sided and one you can see it's been doubled up and, and closed off. So we're gonna put this through the top of this right here. We're gonna push it through uh, like that. We're gonna pull it all the way in till we got this little piece right like that. Then we're gonna take this like like so and we're going to take it just like this take it just like this and we're going to face this male piece let me, let me adjust this camera we're going to adjust this male piece towards us and we're going to come through there we go. we're going to come through holy crap we're going to shake and be old man we're going to come through the top we're going to come through the top just like that okay just like that and then we're gonna kind of loop it over and go into the back just like that and we'll pull that down just like that so we have this little thing right there okay once we get that we are going to we are going to position this bag so this cord hangs out towards the front. It's gonna to be towards the front of you. So if you're on the bike, you're sitting towards the towards the um, headlights, okay? And then we're gonna put this piece right on there like that. See that? So there's the front of the bag right there. We're gonna bring this straight up to the front, just like so. Just like that you're right and then we're gonna take the the pieces that came with it the screws that came with it and we're gonna drop crap all over the damn ground now we're gonna open this up throw that away and we are gonna put these screws inside like this and we're just gonna put them in there loosely so something that is nice about this bag versus I think the competitor, I think that GV does not adjust quite the same. That's the only other locking tank bag I know of. Okay, so we just got those in a little bit. And you can see there's this like ladder backbone system. So this can actually move. So the nice thing about this is, is we can, we can tighten this. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down just a little bit, but not snug, because I wanna be able to adjust it. I'm 
be able to adjust it, okay? I'm gonna take you around right here, and I'm gonna stick it on the locking ring. And we're gonna stick it there, and right now, it's locked in and we can put it wherever we want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit on the bike, okay? And I didn't read the directions until right now. This is the first I've actually looked at directions. Hand to God, haven't looked at them. So I'm, I'm not an idiot, and you guys aren't idiots, so, because you're watching me, so you're not an idiot. But, you know, we're not dumb. Figure it out. But I don't want it all the way back here because, to me, that's hanging off. I don't like the, I don't, I don't like the way it looks with this little lip right here. I can put it up here. I'm probably just going to move it to the front. What I need to do is I've had the phone right here and the little the little loops right here so do I want is that going to interfere I'm just looking to see if anything interferes no so I like it to the front I like it all the way up to the front so I'm going to pull the red handle it's going to pull it off so all the way to the front is all the way to the back when you flip it over so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten this down I'm going to go ahead and tighten these. Okay, so I got them kind of snug. I'm just going to pretty pretty self-explanatory I mean this is much easier than putting a ring on not that the ring was hard but this was pretty easy all right so everything tight that no longer moves like that all right and then we just need to adjust the strap I think so I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'm gonna grab these instructions make sure I'm not missing some kind of vital vital thing all right. so the picture oh, I just saw from the picture to flip this open, and it's got this little thing right here. So what I'm gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this around. We're gonna take this little piece, and right here, in the front, underneath the handle, there's this little flap. You can see my finger sticking out. Hello, hello, that's my finger. So we're gonna take this thing right here. We're gonna push this in, okay. And inside is the female part of this buckle. See, inside there's the female. So, you know what males and females like to do? They like to come together. So we're gonna put that in there, and then, actually, probably should have flipped that upside down. Let me see. So it's just a matter of uh, having it flipped up. So I'm trying to keep it straight going around. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and reattach it. And I think, basically, you just want a little bit out the front so it's comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on there. Stick that on there. And I got a lot out the front, so I'm going to, I'm going to pull this through and adjust it. So I only need a little bit, just enough to grab, just a little loop. Okay, so a little loop right there, a little too much still for me. And I think everyone's going to have their own personal preference of how much loop they want through. Um, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm kind of more in the way of just not having hardly anything, I think. And, you know, you can find what's good for you. You could always adjust it on the... So when that's closed, you can just grab it. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to bring you in closer. Okay. So it's on the bag right now. It's not moving around. So you just got to reach up here. And you grab this little red ring, and when you grab it, uh, pull it forward. Hold on, I can't. This is in the way. I'd be doing this right-handed normally, and it comes right off. So it comes right off. So now all you got to do is just set it down. And, I mean, be, be sensible. Don't scratch your tank up trying to get it down, but watch. I'm going to set it down. Hear it? Hear that? You hear it? It's pulling away from me. So it's just a matter of getting it kind of... 
right on there. I'm trying to see exactly how. Okay, so. Okay, so it's kind of neat. You got these little grooves right here. And I was, I was the reason I was having trouble getting in there because in my brain I thought this thing was going inside, but it's not. So you got these little, see these little bars right there. Watch, can you see that? Watch, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pulling up the uh, red cord, and the bars, these little bars right there, are moving. Let's see, Let's see that? So when you stick it on there, these little bars are, are magnetized. This is magnetized, and poof, they pop right over there, and oh, it goes. And I'm sure I'll get better with this in time. And it is not, it's not coming off. So it's that simple. So now you got room for your glasses. Put my glasses up front. You got room for your wallet. And you even got room for a, a decent sized gun. This is a this is a Sig Sauer P365. So you can put your gun in there if you want, and you can close it up. And if something happens and you're off and you need to do something, you know, you can you can get in here in a hurry and grab your wallet so you can get gas so uh, put your gun down there maybe or whatever you could take it out put it in carry it without the holes you know take it out of your holster on your side and put it in there that's probably what I'll do because it's just more sensible the holsters you know on me so put the gun in there and it's easier to get to it's not going to go off by itself um, they just don't do that so you got all this stuff so it's pretty cool so so say you got your stuff on you say uh, so you got everything in there, or packed up. Maybe you got a pair of keys in there too, and it's time to go. So you're like, okay, I gotta go. We're getting off the bike. So get off the bike, pull this, and just go and grab the handle, and you're good to go. You carry the handle around with you, and that's pretty cool. So another thing it has too is just like the bag in the back. And if you haven't seen my review, if you haven't seen my review on the Nelson Rig tail bag, um, I think this is a commuter bag. Check it out. This bag is awesome. I love this bag. It holds its shape. It's it's kind of it's much. It's shaped a lot like this, to be honest. Um, they have real similar shapes, where they're sort of like a dome shape, and it helps it helps it um, keep its shape a little better, and that kind of thing. And they say this bag is somewhat water water resistant, but I will probably carry this around with me anyway. And I think if I just put it in here or something, it'll actually it tucks away pretty nicely right there. So, but say you got a little bit too much in here. There's a zipper right here, and there's a little, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me, let me take you in for a closer look. So, there's a little, can you see that? The zipper has a little tiny thing where you tuck, watch, the zipper end, and you tuck it up in there. So, this isn't flapping around and it went whoosh, flapping. You tuck it up, let me see, you tuck it up right inside this little tab right here, which is kind of hard to do with one hand and a while you're filming but it tucks right it tucks right up inside trust me I just I just did it so anyway you, you undo the zipper you gotta get around this and then uh, undo the zipper and all the way around and what you have is you have a taller bag so the bag just got taller if you need to carry something else in there so something you got a little bit more stuff it gets taller so it's a two-in-one and it's awesome you know a lot of bags do that tail a lot of tail bags and a lot of tank bags um, are the same way and this is no different so it's pretty cool um, I, so far I like it I like it and here's so two-handed you know, pull this little thing up stick that stick that little thing in there and we're good to go I like it I think it looks pretty good guys um, I'm gonna take you for a farther out look um, there you go I will probably stick matter of fact I'm just gonna go ahead and do it I'm gonna stick the little the little allen wrench in there for a while until I know that that's where I want it I get down the road but I mean I think she looks pretty good I mean it, it um, you know again I'd rather drive without the tail bag but the tail bag is needed so you got a little bit of luggage you know without running tail actual side bags you got a little bit of luggage this isn't too intrusive they have this is the smallest one they make they do make some that are quite quite big and they stick way up um, another cool feature of this is got this neat little emblem right here and it's pretty cool but another cool feature is if you open this up you can put your phone in there, and there's another one of the little holes, so you can bring a cord out through here if you're if you need to uh, plug into something. 
say you need to plug in the power somewhere or you need to have head you want headphones on you you can do that so i mean i think it looks pretty good it matches the bike the colors are the same i think it's pretty good so yeah uh, i haven't driven with it yet this is the first time i've installed it so hopefully um, i'll do some driving with it but i don't really think there's much to report on there i think you know you can make up your own minds if you want one or not so that's it guys thanks for checking me out on twisted throttle moto i really appreciate it please hit like and subscribe and if you're subscribed to this and you're not subscribed to my other channel please check that out that is evolving mail and if you notice it's twisted throttle moto by evolving mail so evolving mail was my previous channel it's all about jeeps so check that out please and hit like and subscribe leave me comments tell me what you think check me out on facebook uh evolving mail on facebook and then my twisted model uh, twisted throttle moto that is um, Triumph Triples, so look that up, and I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot, and as always, drive safely and uh, arrive alive.